What's up, sons? It's Blind Run with Cybertech once again, and today we're going to be looking at the GTX 1070 Ti mining performance, including the hash rates from Ethereum, Zcash, Monero, and of course, Vert. So, all of your favorite coins and their associated algorithms, along with fan noise and, of course, cooling and power consumption. But first, a word from V1 Tech. V1 Tech is having their Black Friday sale and they are sponsoring this video, so definitely go check them out at v1tech.com. During the Black Friday sale, you can get an additional 10% off by using promo code SONOFATECH at checkout. Links in the description. Welcome back. So today we're going to be taking a look at the GTX 1070 Ti. This particular model is the MSI Titanium Edition, which is essentially for the most part going to be a Gaming X Edition with a different color as far as I can tell. This is also because the 1070 Ti's do not come with a stock out of the box overclock they're all just going to be about the same. That doesn't mean you can do more or less with a particular card. That's something we'd have to look into once we had our hands on more than one sample. Before the sample, you're going to want to go ahead and take a look at the power first, which is going to require a single six pin and a single eight pin. So if you're running off of a certain power supply and it's not going to support, let's say six of these in your mining rig with that power supply, you'll need to go ahead and up Upgrade it. I can leave a link to my video about power supplies and server power supplies up here in the corner if you're interested. The MSI Titanium also comes with a nice cooler, one of the best on the markets in my personal opinion from my days of gaming and of course my mining experience. It has very low noise and we'll check that out right here. Alright, so as you guys can see, it does have the zero decibel fan feature, which turns the fans off when it's under a certain load. Of course, as miners, we're not going to really be doing that. We're going to be setting it usually at a set rotation. So 80% is usually where I stick around, and even at 80%, it's nearly inaudible, quite quiet quite quiet yes that's correct and it sounds pretty good the back plates dope it looks so good so in your mining rig start putting some rgbs in there and submit it to mining rig wars for some bonus points of course it has the msi dragon also featured on the back plate but with all that said we don't really care about that because it's going to be in a farm possibly so how's the performance on mining well, let's go ahead and start taking a look at it first with Lira to Rev2, which one of the more popular coins is going to be Vert coin. And we're going to be taking a look at the mining performance just at stock speeds for all of these coins. For the Lira to Rev2, you're looking at 270 watts coming from the total system here. So just keep that in mind when we're looking at this. This is purely for comparison's sake when we're taking a look at it through the kilowatt we are getting a whopping 45 mega hash a second and it's staying around 69 degrees celsius with the stock fan profile moving on to crypto night which this is going to be your monero coin which will be the most popular coin for this algorithm we're seeing a pull of 185 total watts with 633 hash a second at 63C. Obviously with this coin we would have to do some more tweaking to get the full performance out of it, but this is like I said all going to be at stock for comparison's sake. Moving on to Equihash, which one of these is going to be Zcash, the most popular coin here. You're going to be looking at 290 watts for the total system running 466 solutions a second at 69 degrees celsius if you notice that's about the same as the lira 2 rev 2 but it is using 20 more watts 
finally everybody's favorite coin they got everybody back into mining cryptocurrencies we have et hash aka ethereum which also has a ton of other coins that people are mining and it has a draw of 230 watts on the total system coming out to 26.7 mega hash a second at 66 degrees celsius so let's talk overclocking a little bit. Of course, a lot of these coins are going to react differently to different overclocking methods. Therefore, we'll have to do a deep dive on each separate algorithm to determine the best overclocking settings per algorithm on the GTX 1070 Ti. That being said, I did throw a quick kind of look at the overclocking for the memory as that's one of the more important things for most of the coins. And we got pretty solid at 750 megahertz over a few hours, which means I'm pretty confident that plus 750 megahertz on the memory for this card will be a pretty decent setting. Now, going ahead and taking a look here at the profitability on whattomine.com, you'll notice that there are the three algorithms I went ahead and went through and typed in the power consumption for the card as well as the related hash rates and threw up the list and we see that Zcash comes in number one and pretty much all of the Equihash coins are right up there at the top, followed very closely by the Lira coins, which is going to be your Vert coin. And then all the way at the bottom, we have the ET Hash and Kryptonite coins. Now, this is kind of expected, but what I wanted to do because I know memory affects Ethereum so much is I did go back in and rerun the ET benchmark and with a 750 megahertz memory overclock the ethereum hash rate went up to about 32 mega hash a second on this particular card now what that means though is not much because when we plugged that number into what to mine there was no shift in profitability across the coins so currently if you guys are looking at picking up a gtx 1070 ti you're going to want to go ahead and look at the Equihash options for mining currently. So I would recommend if you're going onto a large pool to go with Zcash. And if you're going onto a smaller pool, I would look for something like Bitcoin Z. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and share with your friends that need to know this information. That would help me out the most is the sharing button. And I would like to mention too, if you guys want to support us, to go over to coins.sonofatech.com where we have no fee or lowest fees possible for all the coins depending on which pools they are. For example, we did discover that Equihash doesn't allow us to take the taxes fees off or the TX fees off. And so when that happens, essentially it pulls more from the pool. Now we do have a cushion in there, but to make up for that, we have a very low fee of 0.01%. And that pretty much just pays the pool to complete the transaction. So we aren't making any money off of it. A lot of people have been asking in a lot of the discords that we've been getting some help from why we're doing 0%. They think it's BS. They think we're hiding something. We're really not. The point of the pools is to build the community. I care about the community more, I care about Son of a Tech more than I care about making a measly 0.5% or 1% off of a mining pool. So that's the reasoning behind it. I value the, the empire, we'll call it the empire. That sounds nefarious or bad. Yeah, I should probably go, I should probably go with let's call it just the community the soap community there you go that's what we're gonna go with hope you guys enjoyed don't forget i will see you next tuesday